Just letting you know that we are covering scenes that have graphic images that depict suicidal themes and violent actions. Viewer discretion is advised. What's up, Max here. So I've been watching The Sopranos lately, and I'm nearing the end of the show. So far, a great piece of crime media. It's funny, heart-wrenching, and overall just an entertaining show. It scratches that itch I get when I just can't watch Goodfellas for the 500th time. What? Today, I want to break down a big scene, and while I think it's an amazing scene, I also recently got a rewrite idea for it. So before I spoil anything, make sure you've watched up to Season 5, Episode 12, because that's the episode we're looking at. Okay, did you watch all the show? Good, so when Tony kills his entire gang and then himself, leaving his daughter Meadow to take over the organized crime life... Nah, I was just testing you to see if you watched the show. So okay, what happens in Season 5, Episode 12, The Long Term Parking? The build up to the episode's final scene is Christopher, the number two to his uncle and boss Tony, throughout the season feels unappreciated by Tony and struggles with Tony not taking his problems with alcoholism and drug abuse seriously. He vents to his soon to be wife and his longtime love interest, Adriana, for support. Little does Christopher know, Adriana has been dealing with the FBI trying to squeeze info out of her on the Soprano crime family through blackmailing her on accessories to many criminal charges. In a moment of desperation from both characters, Adriana tells Christopher about her talking to the FBI, and uh, he does not take it well. It's a hard to watch scene, and it's unfortunately not the first time Christopher has hit Adriana. Bringing himself moments away from killing her, Chris realizes he can't fully bring himself to do it, but he knows that if anyone finds out she's been talking to the FBI, they're both dead. So Christopher hears her out. They talk all night long. And by the morning, Christopher has gone from almost killing Adriana over this to considering the possibility of talking to the FBI in exchange for witness protection. Chris says he's going to clear his head for a moment and goes out to think. Adriana is reluctant to let him go, but she knows if she pushes him to act on it, it'll only push him further away from the idea, so she gives him the space to think. We see Christopher at a gas station where he sees himself? No, not literally, metaphorically. Chris sees a family with a father about his age, a mom that somewhat resembles Adriana, and they have a couple of kids. This visibly makes Chris rethink things. It's not that he's afraid of having kids in a family. I mean, all he's wanted from Adriana is to have a kid with her. But unfortunately, they have struggled with getting pregnant. What he sees in front of him isn't just a family, but an everyday average struggling family. They have old clothes, a beat up car, and tired looks. It juxtaposes Chris and Adriana's clothing, cars, and lifestyles. Lifestyle he can only keep with life and organized crime. Chris is seeing his future with Adriana, a future with Adriana and the FBI. And Chris, who struggles with addiction, not just to alcohol, not just to drugs, but also the lifestyle that comes with his line of work. He can't quit it. Before we even see his decision of what to do with Adriana, we already get his answer. We then cut to Adriana, who is convinced Chris is coming with her. She's packing a suitcase until she gets a call from Tony and he informs her Chris tried to kill himself by overdosing on pills and that Sylvia is on his way to pick her up. It's a gut punch to Adriana. We cut to her in a car driving away. Adriana has decided to stop risking her safety and well-being by being around these people and left for a new life. Until it actually cuts back to her in the car with Silvio. Where Silvio tries to console Adriana who's crying. Is she crying because she thinks Chris is dying? Or is she crying because she couldn't bring herself to leave a dangerous life with Chris? Before we get an answer, Silvio pulls off the road, suddenly gets out, before Adriana can do anything, she's shot dead. Tough stuff, but here's where I have my rewrite. It's already so well made. The whole time you're a hopeful viewer for Adriana to come out of this alive, just like Adriana's hopeful Chris will come with her. She for a moment fantasizes about leaving without Chris, but can't bring herself to do it. She wants to risk going with Silvio to be with Chris. She knows at the bottom of her heart, just like we do, that she's probably gonna die. Chris has struggled before, so it's not unlikely he'd be in this position. But imagine with me. We go back to Adriana packing. She gets a call from Tony. Instead of Tony saying Chris has tried to kill himself, Tony says Chris has relapsed. Adriana had alluded earlier in the previous scene that she's afraid of that happening shortly after their long talk. So Adriana would easily believe it when Tony tells her he's overdosed and in critical condition. Tony tells her he sent Silvio to come pick her up just like in the original scene. However now in this rewrite, Tony tells her Silvio's on his way right as he arrives and knocks on the door, giving Adriana no time to think or escape. She's trapped into going with Silvio. Tony says he just wanted to make sure that Silvio got to her to bring her safely to the hospital and he hangs up. 
Silvio then walks with Adriana out of the apartment. Before going in the car with them, we jump back to Tony. Tony still stands at the phone booth and gathers himself. The camera pulls back to reveal Chris standing right next to Tony. Quiet and holding back tears, Chris is alive and fine. Chris could never bring himself to leave the lifestyle, and what was hinted at the gas station scene is confirmed in this rewritten scene before Adriana is killed. This gives more of a twist reveal to the audience right away. Now back in the car scene with Adriana and Silvio, everything is the same here except it plays completely differently. This time we feel trapped in this moment. We know Christopher has betrayed her. There's no hope for this tragic character. We just have to sit in silence with her and her killer before she even fully knows she's dead. This rewrite would capture the cruel reality of the situation from Silvio's perspective, the perspective of the mobsters. We know the entire time she's going to be killed, just like Silvio, just like Tony, and just like her fiancé, who she trusted in, Christopher. Further highlighting how messed up these mobster characters are, how one minute they can go from your family and friend to your cold-blooded killer, and how we shouldn't give them the hopeful fantasy of possibly doing the right thing, and how they almost always do the wrong thing.